did you ever wonder what the right amount to give is? Did you ever go back and forth? Do I give too much? Do I give too little? Should I give more? Or have you ever asked yourself the questions, question, do others see me as a generous person? Or do I see myself as a generous person? Is I ask those things because today's gospel, of course, we all know very well, and should today's gospel be used as a measuring stick for a soul in regard what to give? It is, of course, we, it, the gospel is about the widow who seemingly gave just a very small amount but then our Lord said that she, that her few uh, pennies that she gave was more than anyone else gave, for it was her whole livelihood. But that always, that always bothered me. I have a problem with that gospel. And why I do is because, is it wise, was it good for her to give everything she had, her whole livelihood, all she had to live on? Well, some scripture scholars say that our Lord was not praising her for that action. That is, but it could have very well been the case that she was guilted or tricked even into giving all she had to live on. That is, if you really think about it, our Lord really didn't praise her. All he said is that she gave more than anyone else and it was all she had to live on, her whole livelihood. He didn't, really didn't praise her. So it could very well have been the case that she was kind of guilted into giving or tricked into giving everything when she didn't need to give everything. And why that is, is because we know that the scribes and Pharisees had a knack for doing such a thing also. But as our Lord always was angry or seemed angry at them, got angry often at the self-righteous scribes and the self-righteous Pharisees. And once he actually said to, to them, and I quote, he said, they devour the houses of widows. Interesting. They devour the houses of widows. And so it could have very well been the case that somehow with this widow, they guilted her, they tricked her, they encouraged her, they said how she needed to really give that all until she did. And as a result, she gave all she had to live on her whole livelihood, and they took her house. It's possible. If you really think about it, they could have been the very first ones, you know, back in the day of all those calls and people that call us and do the same thing now. You know, when we get those calls, someone is interfering with your Amazon account, you better contact us right away with your charge card info, right? Or you won a cruise. Just call this number and give us your bank account so we can transfer your winnings and countless others, right? We all get them, right? We all try to get tricked into perhaps giving away our life savings, perhaps. That is, our Lord does not, I wouldn't think he wants any of us to do that. I don't think our Lord would ask anyone to give up your car, your home, your savings, your college fund for your children, until such a point where we lose our homes, we lose our whole livelihood, all right? It is, our Lord wouldn't want us to neglect our own needs and the needs of others also that count on us, right? So it is possible to give too much, but isn't it possible, of course, to give too little also? That is, there was a Baptist and a Catholic that were gathered at this social gathering, and they just happened, they were friends, and just happened to be talking about what they give to their church. And so the Baptist uh, responded to the Catholic, and he said, well, I, I give $100 a week. Catholic was a was appalled. He was shocked because he knew that they basically made the same amount and the Baptists had a larger family 
So he said to him, $100 a week, that, that's over $5,000 a year. Like, how do you give that? And then the Baptist and the Catholic always thought of himself as a very generous person. But then the Baptist, on top of that, even added, yeah, but I really need to give more because that's not 10% of what I make. So I really need to get better at that. And so the Catholic went home thinking about, wow, I really need to rethink my own definition of generosity or am I a generous person? That is, the bottom line is it's possible for us all to give too much or possible for us all to give too little. But our Lord does not want, I know, to give us away our whole livelihood. And nor does our Lord want us, as he said, to give just of our own surplus also. But what I think he's trying to encourage each of us is to give according to what our means are. And everyone's means is different. That is, give until it hurts a little. And so we know we really gave, but not so it hurts too, too much. That is, and if you really think about it, don't we use that principle with everything else? That is, when it comes to giving in other ways, too. We give of our time to this and that and that. We can't give all of our time to this. We give some. We give what we can, according to our means. What I have time for, I'm going to give you. Or we give of our love. We don't give all of our love away just to one person. We've got to spread that around. So we give according to our means what works best for us and to the best, in the best efforts and the best way that we possibly can. That is what our Lord is calling us to. If you really think about it, that is, as God's Christ Christian Catholic sons and daughters, we are supposed to be recognized, though, as the most giving, the most generous people of all. That is, if not, then something is wrong because we are God's Catholic Christian sons and daughters. And so it is up to us, it is up to us to set the example, to set the tone for others. And not just according to uh, finances, of course, but how we give in other ways, our, 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 our generosity in any and any and everything. And if we have a hard time with that, then all we need to really do is, is look at all the things that God has blessed us with and God has given to us. And we can write, I'm sure all, write a long list of the blessings and graces and gifts that God has given to us. And when we look at that, it would probably be very much easier to be a more, a more generous person, an area that we all have to perhaps work a little bit on. For in the end, our Lord is not going to want to know anything about what we have taken, but rather what we have given away.